Welcome back again to the channel. On this video we're gonna discuss about the Bernoulli inequality. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, I think. So uh, Bernoulli, Bernoulli inequality. Which says that if we have a let a greater than minus one then one plus a to the power of n is greater or equal to one plus n times a. Okay, so that's the inequality says. And in order to prove this, we're gonna prove actually the stronger version of this are uh, inequality which says that let a1 an all greater than negative one okay. if a1 up to a n are all positive or all are negative then we have 1 plus a1 times 1 plus a2 that 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 1 plus a n is greater or equal to 1 plus a1 plus a2 plus so on up to n. Okay. So that's the inequality. And since this statement is about the statement that depends on n, it is natural to try to use induction in this situation. So let's find out if we can prove it by induction so for the base case which is n equals 1 so what do we have the left hand side is equal to 1 plus a1 and the right hand side is also 1 plus a1 so clearly the left hand side is greater or equal to the right hand side. In fact, they are equal, right? Okay. So now, uh, let's assume that the statement is true for n. Assume the statement is true for n. Well, actually, uh, before we try the general n, we can try that can we prove the case for n equals 2 from n equals 1 and then after that, can we prove the case n equals 3 from n equals 2 okay. and that small n might lead us to a general proof for the general n okay, so, okay, but let's give it a try for the general case right away okay so assume the statement is true for n what does it mean it means that uh, we have this statement right now we want to show want to show for n plus one meaning we want to show that one plus a one times one plus a two that 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 1 plus a n times 1 plus a n plus 1 is greater or equal to 1 plus a 1 plus up to a n and a n plus 1 okay so this is the statement that we want to show provided that the statement is true for n which is exactly that statement okay so we can start from 
any side, let's say that we start from the left hand side, the left hand side of, let's say this statement is the star statement, and the left hand side of our left hand side is equal to that one. So let's separate this, the product of the n numbers, since we have information about this guy, which is greater than equal to this one. Okay? So the left hand side can be written as the product of 1 plus a1 up to 1 plus an, and then multiply by 1 plus an plus 1. Right? Okay. Now, by the induction hypothesis, we know that this guy is greater or equal to uh, to what again? To this guy, right? It's greater and equal to one plus a one plus a two plus da 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 plus a n times one plus a n plus one. Okay, so let's check again that we we use uh, the property of inequality correctly. So, in order to get this inequality, it is the same thing as we're multiplying both sides with a non-negative number, which is 1 plus a n plus 1. Remember that the a n plus 1 is also greater than negative 1. So, we have this bigger or equal to that statement from the hypothesis induction, which is exactly that statement, and then we multiply both sides by 1 plus a n plus 1, so we get this expression. Okay, And we want to show that this guy is still bigger or equal to this thing. Okay, So, let's find out. This is exactly 1 plus a1 plus a2. So, we multiply all of this with 1. So we get we get this, and then we multiply everything here with a n plus one. Okay. So then, if you are able to prove that this expression is in fact bigger or equal to a n plus one, then we are done, right? Okay. But notice that we can have the expression a sub n plus 1 from multiplying 1 and that guy. So this is equal to 1 plus a1 plus a2 plus da 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 plus a sub n plus a sub n plus 1 plus a1 a n plus 1. Now, do you notice anything? The condition that we are not using at the moment is that all these numbers are all positive or all of them are negative. And because of that, or maybe to be precise, all of them are non-negative and all or all of them are non-positive. Right? So then this one is this thing, all of this thing is greater or equal to zero since every element here either all of them are positive or all of them non-positive probably together or all of them are non-negative right so then each of this term will be non-negative therefore we have is still greater or equal to 1 plus a1 plus a2 so on up to a n and a7 plus 1 so we have that we just proved the lemma right now we can easily see how we can come up with the statement of the Bernoulli inequality from this statement how can we get this expression by simply taking a1, a2 up to an to be the same number a. 
Okay, if you take a1, a2 up to an to be the same number a, then we have each of these terms will be the same, which is 1 plus a, and we have n of them, so then we have 1 plus a raised to the n power, and then here we have also n times a, so the right hand side would be 1 plus n times a. So I think that's enough without writing, without I write it down completely, the substitution of a1, a2, up to an equals a, we can easily see that this inequality implies the inequality that we are going to show. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can give me a recommendation what kind of video that I should discuss. Okay, see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.